Why are you guys in today? Huh? Why are you here today? No reason, just came up to, what, hang out? You Ken's mom? I'm Ken's mom. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Scott. Hi, Scott. Nice, nice to meet you. you. All right, make yourself comfortable. Okay. Right. Oh, here comes Kenneth Keith Callenbach and his mother. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Callenbach. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Keith, for those of you who are just tuning in or perhaps new don't remember, to new to the program, Kenneth Keith, I met you at, when I did my Channel 9 television show, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and Kenneth, yeah. Kenneth Keith, of course, we met him, he wrote me a letter and said I can blow smoke through my eyes. Mrs. Callenbach, do you remember any of this or is it all a blur? No, I remember. You do remember. Mm. And... Does your mom blow smoke through her eyes? Uh, is it a nah. family thing? No. <laughs> no, nah, I never see it. No. no. You you don't do that. No. Have I you don't. have you ever seen Kenneth Keith do it? Sure, I've seen him try it. Right, but you've but never, you've never actually seen it happen. Well, I think you have to be in a dark room, don't you, Ken? <laughs> nah, you can nah. be in a lit up room. <laughs> well, you know, Kenneth Keith actually uh, puked on my foot once. Yes. When uh, he tried to do I keep getting puked I on. I think he was one of the first <laughs> to throw up on you. That was the first time I've ever been thrown <laughs> up on. You did, has, has Kenneth ever thrown up on you, Mrs. Callenbach? No, no, I don't have any souvenirs like that. No? No <laughs> chunks? <laughs> you never threw up on your mom? No. <laughs> did you ever show her those videotapes you make, by the way? <laughs> did you ever show your mom those videotapes you send me? I don't know. Did you ever see the videotapes? Me taking dumps in the woods? Yeah. Did you ever see that? No, I never saw that. Yeah, you got plenty to be proud of, <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Gallenbach. Yeah. What a what a collection. Yeah. L when you well, l let me just say. So that's how I met Kenneth Keith. He sent the letter in, and now he's been coming on the show, and he's kind of funny to listen to. So we we certainly put him on, and he's trying to get some kind of career in show business started. Yes. Now you say there's an audition tape. Yeah. Well, he. You know, at first he tried a career in stand-up comedy, yeah. but that's not going too well, I guess, huh? Nah, that's yeah. it's just, um, I don't know, yeah, deal with, I don't know. When you hear your son, when you hear your son talk like this, I see you laughing, Mrs. Callenbach, and I'm sure you're crying inside. I'm sure when he was a baby, you looked at him and said, well, maybe this will be Dr. Callenbach one day. He will Was make the he your first child? He's my only child. Oh. oh, that's sad. You didn't want any more children or you couldn't have more children? Well, he was enough. He was enough, oh, right. He was a handful. <laughs> you mean, you had him and it was like, wow, this is a lot of work. Right from the very beginning? Well, he was such a beautiful little baby. I just thought, well, this is it. He's perfect. Why have another one? I think you look at Kenneth Keith and you go, quit in time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Onward and upward from here. Let me try something else. Maybe I'll take up knitting. No, but I mean, when you, when you hear that the guy almost can't communicate, I mean, does it, is you, do you start to question yourself as a parent? Because I see you're a lovely woman. You seem very intelligent. You seem normal. You seem normal, as a matter of fact. Is that, would you? I would call you normal. Would, oh, well, gee, thanks. Yeah. Do you ever say to yourself, "How did this happen?" How did this happen? Well, he he's in a search for some kind of comic routine. I hope he finds it. Were you ever tested, Kenneth, for intelligence or anything like that? No, but I believe I'm above the level of intelligence, which makes everybody else. You know, they look at me and say he's weird because I'm more intelligent than. Um, yeah, but but you know, in reality. No, I don't think he has any idea. Mrs. Callenbach, <laughs> did they ever? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> did he ever? Uh, were you, did you ever bring him to doctor, psychologist, or anything to have him tested or anything? No, no, never did. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. I'm not talking to no freaking. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better not to know? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend he's a genius. <laughs> no, but I mean, Mrs. Callenbach, you knew when you when you you knew right away. I'm sure at an early age that he was not like the other kids. He he didn't do well in school, did he? Oh, he was great in school. Really? You, you had high grades? Oh, yeah. Very good. Straight B's. Good student. <laughs> Straight B's. Straight B's. <laughs> and what happened? Was, was there ever talk of college for you? Mm, yeah, there was talk about it, but... Uh, you just wanted to go right to work for the post office, huh? Yeah, there was, you know, I just figured I'd do that. You uh -huh. didn't need college? No, nah, I don't need college. <laughs> well, he is surviving without college. But when you and Mr. Callenbach look at Kenneth, is it a disappointment to you, seriously? Oh, no. We were, we're <laughs> proud of our Ken. Really? Well, oh, yeah. and what's to be proud of, though? I mean, he, he was he ever taught to wipe properly? I mean, he, he really he just doesn't even uh, he doesn't uh, well, even do that. I'm sure I'm, I'm confident that he can do that. Really? Yeah. 
But I mean, you seem like you seem very intelligent. I mean, you seem like a, a regular mom. Well, thanks. I try to be. Do, do you work or are you a housewife? I work. Oh, you do work. I work. Yeah. Where, where, where do you work? Like, what kind of work? Well, I'm a telephone operator. Oh, you are. Mm -hmm. So you work hard. Your husband works hard. You've 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 uh, certainly lived the American dream. You've got a beautiful trailer you live in. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So Kenneth now uh, comes to you and says, Mom, I want to be a stand-up comic. Mm -hmm. And you feel he has a chance? Oh, sure. Same as anybody else. You encourage him? Well, sure. If that's you never what... slap him into reality and say, you're not funny, you retard, or anything like that? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you have to give him straight, you know, tough love. You don't call him retard. I mean, do you call him retard sometimes? <laughs> no, I leave that up to you guys. Really? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't let people tell me what to do. I say, I'm doing it, you know. Step aside, I'm doing it. Do you? I mean, you can see he's jerky. He's dopey, right? I mean, he's dopey. He acts dopey. Do you? Do you? Uh, like my? If my father would take me aside, if I acted like you, and he'd say I act dopey, he'd say you act stupid. Silly. Silly. Yeah. Do you silly. ever tell him he acts silly? Yeah, I tell him he's silly sometimes. Yeah. Do you try to get him in line, or uh, you've given up? Have yeah. you talked to him about his future? <laughs> His future? Yeah. There is no future. This, this is his future. This, 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 this is his shot. Oh, listen, no, wait. I go around, don't I go around the house making weird noises all the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. go, sure. yee, yee, yee. And why like, do you do that? It's just yeah, fun. Yeah, why do you do that? Because I make myself laugh. Now, is Kenneth still living in your house? No. He did move out. Right. He got a girlfriend. Right. How got, do you feel about that? Yeah, now, now Kenneth you got announced... got the empty nest syndrome. I think, it, syndrome. Well, I think it's nice. Now, okay. Kenneth, Kenneth has never really gotten girls except for really fat girls. Yes. Girls at, you know, parties that nobody wanted. So, I don't know. Do you know anything about Kenneth's <laughs> sex life? No. You've never heard him talk about it? Oh, no. He's, no, I, I've never been there. Well, tell your mom how pathetic <laughs> his sex life was. Well, did you ever see me bring any girls home? No. <laughs> Isn't he weird? Like, he can't even look at... Do you kiss your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's not like that kind of relationship. You oh, never, yeah, he you never be kissing <laughs> on his mom. <laughs> you never kiss your mother. When's no. the last time you kissed your mother? I don't know. Uh, maybe once in a while, kiss on the cheek. Maybe. Uh, that's you what know, we meant, Kenneth. Once a year. Yeah, I didn't mean like do you make out with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's for your father to do. She's a lovely woman, I mean, but I, I don't expect you to do that. Mrs. Kalmbach, does it pain you that your son is not affectionate toward you? Oh, yeah, he's, he's a very kind, thoughtful person. Does he ever hug you and kiss you and say, thanks, Mom, for being sure. a great mom? He does? So well, you hug and kiss your mom? Once in a while. Once in a while, I, I don't does. think. Do you kiss your mom goodbye when you, uh, well, after you see her for the day? She knows I love her a lot. Why do I have to hug her and kiss her all the time? Does he ever walk around the house nude? Do you ever see Kenneth naked? No. When's the last time you saw Kenneth naked? Oh, probably when he was about three. Oh, really? So you have not seen him <laughs> since then? <laughs> I see. That's fascinating. <laughs> uh, so, and you, and you never had to take his temperature rectally uh, oh, as he was growing up, <laughs> Mrs. Kalenbach? No, probably not. No, you didn't no. care about an accurate reading, I guess. No, huh? no. It didn't matter. <laughs> so his brain was a little hot. Yeah, what big deal. <laughs> so anyway, Kenneth, of course, met a girl. Uh, well, well, tell your mom about the kind of girls that you would have sex with at parties. Well, some of them were ugly, some of them were nice, but no, nah, I had nice and, you know. But nobody who stuck around. Only one, why don't you tell your mom the truth? Only one, one night stands. Yeah, a couple months relationships at a time, nothing more than what? that. What? A couple months All relationships? All of a sudden he's All got a, a history sudden, really embarrassed to tell your mom the truth? <laughs> and look how his mom looks at him adoringly, and he will not even look at his mom. Look at your mother when you talk to her. Why? Why can't you, do you notice that Kenneth can't he look at a person? He won't look at anybody. Do you know that? Mrs. Uh, Kallenbach? And sometimes. What is his problem? Have you ever looked into that, getting it diagnosed? <laughs> the guy can't look at you. He can't look at you. Did you notice he doesn't look at you? Well, I guess it's it's uh, com it's commitment to, to affection. He can just say, I love you too, but, you know, I guess it's... But he can't look at them. He's trying to look at you now to, to compensate. <laughs> but, but as long as she's not I looking at look him, at he can look at her. <laughs> It's not that I can't look at her. See, look, I'm looking at her. Oh, looking yeah, at her. now you're looking at her, but you really... But how long can you do it? How long can you look at her for? I don't know. Do I you hate your mother in some ways? <laughs> no. Are you mad at her? No, I don't feel like I have to be tested. All right, take it easy. No one's, no one's pushing you, pal. All right, now I'll look at her. Watch. Well, you do have pretty eyes. Thank you. But what about your son? I <laughs> think he's got eyes like Charles Manson. All right, now, now Mrs. Callenbach. <laughs> You know as well as I do mm -hmm. that Kenneth, I, I think you probably had your suspicions, Kenneth didn't have a lot of women, and when he got a woman, it was basically for sex. It was not a, a loving thing. All the girls that were hot wouldn't look at Kenneth. 
Is that, is that accurate to say to your mother? Any girl you'd bring home. You uh, didn't even bring home any girls, right? Uh, not really. I couldn't get any hot blondes. <laughs> well, he was too busy be being silly. Right. That's With I'm his saying. dopey friends. Sure. So he finally gets a girl. He went to a bar, and he finds a girl, and within a week now, he's engaged. Hmm. Are, are you married yet? No, we're just, you know, living now, someone together. Someone told me you're having second thoughts. Well, we're just living together to see how it goes. I'm not, I don't need to rush into anything. <laughs> Which, now, who gave you that advice? Your parents? Nah, no, nobody gave me the advice. Uh, a couple friends told me, you know, I said, yo, dude, uh, moving in with this girl. They were like, what? You don't even know. Well, all your friends you are that? jealous. They don't have any girls. Yeah, they don't have girls. Do your friends have girls? Yeah. They do? Yeah. 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 <laughs> girls they live with? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Fred, even Kenneth Keith knows women change after marriage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kenneth is taking his time. So, you know, because this girl is like, the, you saw her, Mrs. Kalenbach? You met the girl? Oh, yeah. She's a nice girl. Pretty she's a girl. doll. Very pretty. Very but nice. Don't you think Kenneth should rush to marry her? Because how? what are the odds of him getting another girl? <laughs> Unless he kidnaps her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that's one of those things that they're going to have to work out between them. I see. So you're not in any rush for Kenneth to get married either? No, I, I don't get involved in that. That's, that's hey, his business. Hey, Mrs. Kalenbach, it sounds like you don't get involved in much with him. I'll tell you the <laughs> truth. It seems like you're a hands-off parent. What is it, Gorilla? Well, I, why don't you tell Howard about the, uh, the club you went to? Late, late Trapeze? Uh, late Trapeze? Well, what do you know, uh, Gorilla? No, I, I know that they, him and his girlfriend went to this weird club. Oh, really? What's that? What kind uh, of weird club? Uh, I don't know. What tell him? Do you tell him about it? Well, it costs $90 a couple to get in. Yeah. And there's a, like a lot of weird sex stuff going on in the club. Is oh, that really? a sex club, kid? Did you go to a sex club? It was. It was phony. It was Fioni? It was phony. It's it was phony? Look at your mom's face. She's like, oh, I'm, I really don't want to know about this. It's it's legal, so, you know. Right, but wait right. a minute. What was going on in there? Just, um, I wait, don't know. The, the, Just, the rooms have mattresses with no doors. Really? But you went, so you went to the sex club, but you didn't do anything? Yeah, because my girlfriend, uh... Was enough fiance. for that. She wanted to leave. My fiancé. <laughs> my girlfriend, <laughs> What happened? What ha tell him what happened. Why, why did my she fiance. want to leave? My fiancé. Now, there's a word that shouldn't come out of Kenneth's mouth. Well, he has trouble with it. Well, it's just a room, I mean, a club where everybody... You have to, sex? You have to take your clothes off before you go in. Oh, so you did that? Yeah, and then she was like, <laughs> come on, let's leave, I don't like this. Really? But, yeah. but what was the end result? Like, from what I heard, like, uh... A Japanese couple came up and asked to, to join in, and then that, that was it. You left? Oh, so you were in a room with her. Yeah, yeah. they came in, and they, and they said, yeah, hey, can we join in? We were like, nah, get out of here. Yeah, you finally got a girl. Why should you share her with anybody, especially some Japanese guy? <laughs> so why is he guy? going to a, a club to have sex with her? They live together. Yeah, why don't you just have sex in that stupid trailer you have? It was fun. It was exciting. I'd never been to one before. <laughs> so you, you walked around naked in this club? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Mrs. Callenbach oh, in front of your mom. Your mom oh, has to you. hear this nonsense. <laughs> Mrs. Callenbach, you haven't even seen your husband naked, let alone Kenneth, right? I mean, isn't this terrible? Is this shocking to you what Kenneth is up to? Well, it's it's different. It is. It is. It's what other people. I wish my do. mom was more like Mrs. Callenbach. Like you know, yeah, it's different. <laughs> it doesn't get on his case. Yeah, it doesn't get on his case. Tell him what to do. <laughs> but then you hey. turn out like this. How? <laughs> did you know? Did, did Kenneth ever talk to you about drugs? Has he ever smoked pot or anything? Do you know? No, he never said he did. Do you smoke you pot? You want to tell her, Kenneth? Well, you know, growing up, uh, childhood, you know, everybody has to experiment with different things. Sure, I tried this and that, but hey, um, no, I never had the problems <laughs> with them. <laughs> Look at his mother, all puzzled. <laughs> like, this is stuff you and your mom can't talk about, so it's good that I'm here to mediate, right? I mean, I can, I can like, you know, now your mom's really learning about you for the first time. Well, no, there's nothing to talk about. Oh, there's plenty to talk about. <laughs> you? We could really fill her in. <laughs> so anyway, Kenneth is trying to get some kind of career off of this show because yes. we have him on and he feels he he's famous. He doesn't know what to do with his fame. And like Elephant Boy gets booked for gigs and he sees like Captain Jank's got a record album and right. Stuttering John has a record album. So he's saying, gee, maybe there's something I could do to generate some income. And off so of this. what has he tried? So he's tried stand-up comedy. He tried a music career for about five seconds, right? Didn't you try to put out an album? 
Yeah, I've been doing, yeah, to whatever. Now he's sending <laughs> letters to our radio station trying to become a dish jockey. Oh. <laughs> and you know he really wants the job because it's not like a goofy Kenneth tape. It's like Kenneth trying to really be a dish jockey. Well, he's serious. Yeah, real All serious right. on it. What? Right? Yeah, right. What is it, Baba Booey? Not only does the tape, you know, come with, like, I guess a short bio, I, which I haven't seen, but it comes with, um... Oh, it's it comes press with a photo. press photo. Yeah. Oh, man. I Look got a Kmart picture. It's a Kmart press photo. It's very funny, actually. It's like, you know, it's like the Sears baby photo. Yeah, I'll show it on TV yeah. here. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, caught in somebody's headlights. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> like a deer in headlights. <laughs> Mr. Kalmbach, you can have this picture. It would oh, be very dear. beautiful for you to oh, frame. Thank you. So now he has a press <laughs> so, he, so you want to hear some of Kenneth's audition yeah, I tape? I would love to. I mean, should we have the general manager in here to listen so Kenneth can get an immediate reaction? No, Tom has no say anyway. Uh. He doesn't know talent. But the funny thing is, Kenneth's tape doesn't sound that much worse than Mike Ganji's tape, our intern. <laughs> and he went to school for four years. Yeah, right. <laughs> but here's Kenneth being very serious about being a disc jockey. All right. You're listening to 92.3 K Rock, New York's classic rock station. I'm Kenneth Keith Callenbeck. That was Honky Tonk Woman by the Rolling Stones. And we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> we'll be back, right? You know, you're a lot, you know, your audition tape would be a lot funnier if you just were yourself. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to be myself. <laughs> he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> Getting in touch with himself is pretty scary. Here's Kenneth's resume. Everything listed on it has got your name in front of it. Oh, really? Let's see. Let's see. Objective. Seek employment as an actor on television shows or movies. Oh. <clears throat> so he radio is just a... You're not even that into radio. Yeah, I'm into anything, you know? June 30th, taped Howard Stern television show, which aired on 7 1490, in which I attempted to blow cigarette smoke through my eyes. Taped Howard Stern, 7 790, taped Howard Stern television show, which never aired, attempted to blow smoke through my eyes. 8 <laughs> 1090, taped Howard Stern television show, which aired on 8 1190, in which I attempted to blow cigarette smoke through my eyes. 12, this is his resume. 12 1590. <laughs> <laughs> the Howard Stern television show aired on this date in which I attempted to blow cigarette smoke through my eyes. <laughs> 3 12 91. Taped Howard Stern television show which aired on 3 16 91 in which I acted as a mental patient in a movie called <laughs> Awakenings. <laughs> 42391 taped Howard Stern television show which aired a few days later in which I acted as a hot dog vendor <laughs> selling peanuts and popcorn to the spectators. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Everything is the ha hey, done... He doesn't have one credit that's not you. No. <laughs> and it goes on for two pages and it's like it's, <laughs> well, it's it's you know it's got a lot of Every stuff. Every little appearance. Yeah. Well that's all well, I Well why did. wouldn't you just put Howard Stern show on top and then list the various things you did? Uh, I don't know how to write a resume. All right, all right. You know. Okay, it's some resume. Uh, I've never seen a resume like this in my life. Let me hear the rest of your audition tape because I'm enjoying it. Then I'm going to throw you and your mother out of here. <laughs> you were listening to 92.3 K-Rock, New York's classic rock station. That was Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit. This is the second time already he's introduced it Smells Like uh, He's <laughs> backing it, fronting it, yeah. and everything. He's certainly it. getting those call letters in, and he's very precise about them. 92.3. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Kallenbach, you've got to be shocked by what your son turned into. Did you have high hopes for him when he was a little boy? Did you think that maybe? What did you think your son was going to be when you? Yeah, what was you your know, fantasy? Were carrying him around in your womb, and then mm. you looked at him for the first time. You went, "Oh, look yeah. at my gorgeous little baby! Well, One day what he was could your, be." What was your fantasy? Well, he always wanted to be a race car driver. No, we're he... talking about you. You, yeah, you what did you want? And said, what did I want? He could yeah. be. Well, I wanted him to be anything he wanted to be. I figured he could do anything he wanted to do. Yeah, you still figure that? <laughs> <laughs> After seeing him, you still figure that? You're not on medication, are you, it. Mrs. Kellenbach? <laughs> He's no. doing it all right. He's really gotten a lot accomplished. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much doing what he wants to do. And if well, he gets married, you know do you what? think that he should have children? It would, it would be nice. It would, would be nice. I would like to have a grandchild. And you feel he's responsible enough to raise a child? 
Well, when when he gets when he decides to settle down. I see. You think he'll become a little. You think, think he's oh, going to sure. change? Yeah. Oh sure. Well, maturity will be there one I day. I see. You, so you still look at him and see a lot of potential. <laughs> oh wow. sure. Wow. You see a mother's love. <laughs> I tell you, they can see past anything. Oh, Mrs. Callenback is like those moms they drag into court for the mass murderers. <laughs> my like, son couldn't do anything. My like son that. would never do something like that. <laughs> He's Always a good boy. Eternally hopeful. <laughs> I mean, if I had to, I could get my hair cut short and put on a business suit and walk in somewhere and say, "Hey, hi." How it you still doing? wouldn't help, man. Yeah, you'd still be Ken. Yeah, you'd still I'm be I'm an kidding. actor. I can act real good. I can. All right, act. act like a normal person. All right. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Before that, we had the Rolling Stones, Honky Tonk Women, and coming right up on the other side of this, some Kiss. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. You know, he's he's better than Ganji. Yeah, I know. At least he has a voice. <laughs> wow. Well, Mrs. Callenback, let me say, um, for society's sake, lock your son in the basement. Please. <laughs> Do us all a favor. Darn, you should have told me that before. I don't even have a basement. Uh, well, congratulations to you on motherhood and your son. And yes, I know in your own way you are proud of Kenneth. Listen, uh, Surely, sure. somewhere in the dark recesses of her mind, there's a lot of disappointment. Yeah, I think so. I don't think it would be proper it to say it on the air, all your disappointments. <laughs> I, that's, that's, that you should probably be left, cry yourself to sleep That should be night. left for the psychiatrist's office, believe me. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. and, Do uh, you and your husband really hold each other in to try to get over. Yeah, do you ever talk about <laughs> Kenneth? And like, do you ever like go, oh my God? But w by the way, what are you guys doing in New York, Mrs. Callenback? Why did Kenneth bring you up to the radio show? Did he bring you here specifically just to meet with us? Well, he just wanted me to meet you and Robin and Jackie. Right. And the, the other guy. Crew. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Martian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, how is this any different than what you're doing? What? What? My entertainment. How is it any different than you, yours? Are, are you trying to say that I'm as dumb <laughs> as you are? What entertainment? <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, you think you're like me? Yeah. You see, you don't. You don't know you're not I in the entertainment business. Notice that he's different. <laughs> yeah, you don't know you're not in the entertainment business. I don't know. You're not. I'm not. I don't Would know. you slap some sense into him, Mrs. Callenback? <laughs> Tell him he's not in the entertainment business. Okay, I'll. Tell At any him. point in your, uh, you know, in in your years. Did you and your husband try to run away from home so that you could avoid Kenneth? Did you ever try to do that? Just leave him in the house? Well, no, we would have got caught. And what were Kenneth's first words? Do you remember? Yeah. His first words? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy, was it? Uh... Gee, I really don't remember. He's still working on. Was he? Was he? <laughs> did he start walking at an early age or a late age? Uh, was there anything unusual? He, he started uh, running. Actually, he started running. <laughs> <laughs> he was chasing the, his uh, cousin down the hall. Oh, I see. He's Forrest Gump. And did he get beat up a lot in high school? No, he never got beat up. No. Never. Kids didn't pick on him. No. Mm -hmm. He had his gang, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. It's posse. <laughs> All right. Very good, Kenneth. Congratulations to you. Unless there's something you want to add to the festivities. Uh, uh, Where did you send this tape to Howard? Well, I brought no it. to the program. Did you ever see him on my old TV show blowing up his genitals with firecrackers and stuff? I saw that. And what did mm -hmm. you think of that? Did you think that was good? <laughs> well, it was it was his form of comedy. So. Right. And what about art. you? Went to those? I guess he had a couple of stand-up gigs. Did you go to see? No. Him? No. no. Lucky for you. <laughs> well, I got a tape of a. Uh, I made. My own little TV show. Oh, okay. oh he's got a TV it's, it's audition, funny. too. All right, I'm going to take a look at that. Yeah, definitely. Do that. It's Kenneth funny. Keith Callenback show. Maybe I'll show a little bit on E tonight. Oh, yeah, right. it's really good. Oh. All right, very good. Thank you, Kenneth Keith Callenback. Good luck with your All career, right. your your entertainment career. And uh, Mrs. <laughs> Callenback, of yeah. course, uh, listen, not everything in life is a uh, is an up thing. It's uh, so There are disappointments along the way. And I just want to find out, how is uh, the relationship going? Kenneth, you're all right. You and your girlfriend are getting along. Yeah, and she's satisfied just being your girlfriend? Not, yeah. She doesn't want marriage? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Every, you know, everything's fine. Are she's you still with her, or did she leave you? No, we're still together. All right. And, she and wants she's working? And all right. Yeah, here and there. Is she not pregnant yet? or? Uh, no. Nah, are you taking birth control? Nah. Oh. She, you guys don't use birth control? She's got uh, Norplant. Oh, she's Norplant. Oh. Remember that? She yes, it to you. that's right. That's good. <laughs> Believe me, but buy her extra dose. All right, very good, get Mrs. Callenback. Yeah, get her two. <laughs> Put one in each arm. Uh, Mrs. Callenback, thank you for coming in. A pleasure to meet you and uh, Kenneth Keith carrying on the Callenback tradition. Thank, thank you very you. much. It was nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you and uh, lovely woman. Lovely woman. Thank I, you. My condolences on <laughs> Kenneth Keith. <laughs> All right, man. Nice to meet you. Later. How did it go, dude? Good. It went good.
It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I figured I should bring my mom up to meet Howard, you know, since she wanted to, I wanted, he wanted to meet her before. Kenneth, did you do everything you wanted to do that, that you planned for today? Did you have a list of things that you wanted to, to Not do? really. I didn't know what to talk about. I just went in and just said, didn't have any idea. Just figured I'd just come up, you know? But you think Excuse it went me? well? Yeah, definitely. It was fun. Have a good time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, it was fun. So what are you going to do now? What's up for the rest of the day? I don't know. I guess just go back to um, Philadelphia, I guess. Unless you want to walk around or something. Well, this is the first time I've been to New York. It looks like a dirty city. <laughs> it, it is a little, it's, it's different. You've never been to New York before? No, I was, I was shocked to see how dirty it Take was. Take it to the Empire State Building. Planet Hollywood, the Hard Rock Cafe. May, uh, maybe. That'd be cool. All right, Ken. All right, Good well, to see you. Give me a call. It's nice uh, to meet nice you, Nice to meet you. Guys. Take care. Thank you very much for coming and getting up so early. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're not bad uh, on me, are you? Nah, for what? I'm going to start. Oh, no, nah, it's funny. But, um, yeah, give me a call. All right, man. Well, I'll give you a call. Yep. All right. OK, bye, bye guys. Bye. Nice, nice right. to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. Yeah. I'll see you.